Hello there guys, welcome back to Isaac Football Club, welcome back once again to a brand new one. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Let's discuss, sit down, relax like I am right now. I'm feeling good, you know, I don't have to stand a lot, the season is gone, so yeah, it's time to relax and forget about all the things we went through. <laughs> Start the new chapter, Pochettino is working right now at Chelsea, a new manager. It's so good, it's a, it's a new hair, breathing, right? Like you're sitting on the porch, like in the cool breeze of hair coming out from northeast, southwest, you know, with the juice in your hands and drinking, you know, relaxing. You see the sunset coming out and you're like, okay, the new beginning is it's right here. So this is where we are right now. The new beginning, my dear friend. Let's get into football news. What's going on with Pochettino and the other clubs? We're going to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, so relax and enjoy, my dear friend. So the Premier League yesterday was done and dusty. It's so nice because we finished on the high standard. We didn't lose. That's a good thing, you know. I was expecting Newcastle to beat us 4, 5, 6. Like Tottenham, they beat Tottenham 6, 1, something like that. I was expecting Chelsea to lose more than that. But we did not lose. We are safe. We finished safe. We are 44 points at the, in our table. Uh, Crystal Palace finishes above Chelsea for the first time in the Premier League history. Yes, what is going on? Check out this. Mauricio Pochettino has already begun working with Winston and Stewart. He agrees on targets for a striker, a goalkeeper, and possible a midfield to boost the team spin. He's fed back which Chelsea players he likes and they include academy trained players. Oh, this is wonderful, man. You know, making decision already, which player he likes, which player he doesn't like, you know, which player goes or who goes on loan and who is coming uh, back from loan. And this is good. This is the right time, you know, right there. You work with these players bef before going to uh, on loan. You work them and see... Uh, what level, where they are, and you know, decide when the transfer comes in, we're gonna see a lot of them go. This is so good. I have a good feeling, as I said, about Pochettino, and I, I said yesterday, I'm not gonna look what happened in the back, it's gone. Those shenanigans, I don't wanna mention them again, they are gone. So it's a new beginning, Everything at the club is just excitement. Yeah, let's get to another update. Check out this. Lawrence Stewart and Paul Winson, Chelsea co-sporting directors. These are Chelsea directors, sporting directors, and I'm, I'm so happy they're starting working. This is good. Let's continue. Mauricio experience stands on excellence, leadership, quant qualities and characters will serve Chelsea Football Club well as we move forward. He is winning coach who has worked at the highest level in multiple leagues and languages. His efforts, tactic, approach and commitment to development all made him the exceptional candidate. Mauricio Podotino is a good coach. Very good coach, you know. The standards and he knows languages that's a good thing about the guy so as I said I'm expecting nice things from this guy nice things and I think Chelsea we will be at the in top four I think we'll uh, start you know even challenging for the Premier League title if things goes well with Pochettino look Chelsea and Tottenham Chelsea are different we are a different breed you know we can hire a manager who has been somewhere without trophies. When they come to Chelsea, they win trophies. For example, Sari. You remember Sari? Sari was a manager, good manager, but he did not win any trophies in his career. He came at Chelsea in 20, that was 2013. 
no, 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 2013, sorry. That's 2015, I think, when we, we won the second Europa League with Sally. We played Arsenal in the final. So that's his first trophy Sally got at the time, you see. So coaches at Chelsea, when they come there, they win. So Portotino, I can tell you that. Portotino, one way or another, you win a title at Chelsea. And that is very good. That's, that's a tear-off from Tottenham. <laughs> because at Spurs, he failed to win. He failed to win. So that is a tear-off. That is a tear-off. And it's very good. It's very good, my dear friend. I'm excited about this appointment. Yeah. Let's continue with more updates. Check out this. Chelsea confirmed that Portutino staff will include these are the names Jesus Perez Migua, I think that's a proper name, Agutino Tony Janis, so different names, mine, <laughs> and Sabatino Portutino, that's his son. Those names, man, they are so different. They look, they sounds like um italian they sounds like uh, uh argentinian's name just like that they are so difficult to read but yeah portotino to chelsea my dear friend it is hot i'm so happy and the other thing is he works with his son his son and portotino wherever portotino goes his son is always there and as i said if you uh if you know uh portotino doesn't have an agent and he's a top, top quality manager. He doesn't have an agent. He deals with himself <laughs> and his son. If you want to see Portutino, dialects to him. This is good because that makes it easy. That makes it easy to make a deal with a person because you're talking to him straight, you know? This is why the appointment of Portutino was not complicated. The other guys was very complicated. Luis Enrique is a good quality manager, but it was complicated a little bit, right? But, you know, he, he was not made to, to be as uh, Luis Enrique to come to Chelsea. So that chapter is gone. Now, there was one thing. There is one thing I was remembering. I'm like, Portotino, Spurs and Portotino. He, he was at Spurs for a long time. What happened? Portotino and Daniel Levy. There's, there's something serious happened because there's no way Spurs, they're looking for a manager. They're desperately looking for a manager and they didn't even contact Portotino. Portotino was open to return to Spurs. Let's check this out from Fabricio Emanuel. To qualify once again, Spurs have never approached Portotino this year. He never turned down. See? He never turned down Tottenham. There were never contract talk. Poch is excited about Chelsea's project. He, uh, he, he's, he can't wait to build the future of the club. Portotino is a, is a manager. So whoever comes, pick him up. He will do it. He will go. He was open to go to, to Spurs, but Spurs didn't open the door for him. I'm surprised. I am really surprised. As I said, there's something serious happened between him and Daniel Levy because there's no way good quality manager like Portutino <laughs> without a call without or something you know that's blown my mind hey it comes to Chelsea he's gonna win a trophy you tell me you'll see <laughs> now there's one midfield Chelsea are chasing no there's two midfield Chelsea are chasing uh, a good Augusta what's his name let me let me do this check out this Understood. Chelsea uh, reached an agreement with Manuel Gute and his agent over personal teams. Chelsea should like to pay the Riz craze over installment rather than one payment. This is remaining point. So this is the remaining point. Chelsea, they are ready to pay in the installment for that guy. Great midfield. I did a video about four days ago about him, Chelsea and PSG looking for this guy. So this is just an update I'm giving you guys. Yeah. yeah, so the midfield of Chelsea next year, I think we're gonna see a different breed in the midfield and this is so exciting. That's exactly what we need. Augusta and Enzo Fernandez and Moscasido. So those three 
in the midfield. If we made that happen, we have Inzo Fernandez already, great midfield, you just need those two people, Casido and August. I, 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 this guy's name, man, is always <laughs> Augusta, 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 whatever. You know what I'm, what, what I'm talk, am I talking about? <laughs> so those three guys in the midfield, mwah, straight, sweet, you know, juice, honey, uh, grape juice in the midfield. It will be very good. <laughs> Now guys, let me know what do you think about this. This is so exciting. Let's check this out. I forgot one more thing. There is a big fight between Chelsea and PSG for Manuel Augusto and Chelsea have really been pushing in the last 24 hours to 48 hours to get it done and convince the player. Uh, Guta is priority and most Casido remain on the wrist so Moscasido and this guy together Chelsea mm. Moscasido last window transfer he almost came to Chelsea but something something happened there but this time we need some powerhouse in the midfield and I think this time it's gonna be a lot difficult because we don't have a Champions League football Arsenal, they're in a Champions League football. Arsenal, they are the favorites to get a lot of people. Even Deacon Rice, you know, you know, Deacon Rice looks like it's gonna go to Arsenal. The talks over there are advanced and Bayern Munich, Thomas Tuku likes Deacon Rice and there's a link over there, Bayern Munich with Deacon Rice. Yeah, so the transfer window is gonna be very interesting and it's gonna be busy. Chelsea need to get get rid of a lot of shenanigans in this Chelsea team. Dead wood, dead legs out. Aspiriqueta, I think this is his last game and I wish him well. I wish him well and I wish him good luck wherever he goes. And uh, Lufkas Chick. So guys, let me know what do you think about all this discussion we did today. Let me know and tomorrow will be a good one. I forgot, I was, I was about to say tomorrow will be the match preview, but there's no games now. It's pre-season starting and friendly games we're gonna see over time. I will see you soon, my dear friend there. Subscribe to Isaac Football Club, hit notification bell so you don't have to miss any little thing. I will see you soon. Have a lovely day wherever you are and stay safe. God bless.